So, you want to make a short film but you have no idea what you're doing. Well, neither did I. Clearly. But we managed it. We made the short film over and over, which you can watch on my channel. And I'm actually really proud of how it turned out, considering it was my first time behind the camera. This video is about the process of making a short film as a complete beginner with no budget. And I made plenty of mistakes so that you don't have to. Anyways, I hope you enjoy this video and that you get something from it. And let's get into it. Now, first of all, you actually have to write a short film and I'm not gonna just sit here and tell you what to write because, well, I'm not an idea factory. But what I would recommend is that you make a short that's realistic. One that you can film without needing a location budget or a huge special effects team that will cost you an arm and a leg. Make what you're filming achievable, especially if it's your first go, or else you'll be kicking yourself when it comes to the edit. You'll need to make a shot list. This is a list of all the different shots that you want to take during the shoot, and I can't tell you how useful it was on the day. It meant that I didn't miss a single thing, and it kept us on schedule so well that we had time to play around with other angles or shots that I hadn't initially envisioned for the film. I'll link some other videos down below that other creators have made about making shorts, as I found them really useful when I made mine. And now that that's all done, we can move on to the filming of it. First, you'll need an actor. This is Mark. Then you'll need to think about locations. My film was very location based and we chose to film it around the town that we live in. They don't have to be insanely awesome locations, what should matter is the film itself. We were shooting out of sequence so we were quite lucky with the weather that day as we never had the issue of the sun being in the wrong place for the time of day that the scene was set in, but it is something to watch out for if you're filming outside. Then we got to filming. I will mention that I had planned from the start to have the film be square when it was finished, like this, so I had to keep the borders I was working inside in mind throughout the shoot. Now again, I am not an expert and I haven't shot anything before. As you can see, I had a bit of trouble keeping the camera focused and it meant that we had to redo some shots, but occasionally it worked in our favour. Aside from that though, we did get some very cool shots that I'm really pleased with, especially this one which is probably one of my favourite videos of Mark I have ever taken. <laughs> And thanks to the shot list, we had time to try out new angles during the day, and that led to quite a few outtakes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so fun. <laughs> Sorry, I can... The boy who leaves. <laughs> 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 she looks like trying to support <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> it's you saying wow every time. <laughs> wow. How's it going? Okay, it's actually really exciting. <laughs> One other thing I will mention is that Over and Over is predominantly a silent film with no dialogue and any sound effects in the film I added in post. That saved us the trouble of recording audio on the day, but I've linked some videos down below of people talking about recording audio with a low film budget too. Eventually, we had everything ticked off the shot list, and we were wrapped! Yay! I edit all of my projects on Adobe Premiere Pro, although there are plenty of mobile apps that you can use if you don't have access to something like that. For example, there's iMovie for iPhones, or there's Video Cut Editor for Android. One thing I do wish I had done is during the filming process, I probably should have made a note of which takes I liked, as it would have stopped me from having to trawl through all of the footage to pick out which scenes were the best. However, as it's a short film, there wasn't too much footage to go through, so it was pretty easy going. There are plenty of videos online about how to use Premiere to edit videos. For example, how I used an adjustment layer to make the frame size a square rather than a rectangle. I also used the colour and brightness tool to try and colour match some of the shots that were slightly lighter than the others. And of course, I put the audio and the sound effects in afterwards. 
all of the sound effects and the music actually was free and you can find that on the YouTube Creator Studio. Now if you're thinking of entering your film into festivals, this isn't the way to go as music will be copyrighted in some way, but you can use it for free on YouTube and won't get a copyright claim. So that's what I did. I found a song that I really liked by Asha Falero and put that as the backing track and then I used the sound effects bar to find any wind noises, a few dogs barking, just a bit of ambient sound to make the film seem more realistic. I also found this really cool drone noise, which I used when Mark was reaching for the invisible door. I also found that on YouTube Creator Studio, so it is a bit of a treasure trove if you're looking for something like that. All in all, the edit took me a good few hours, but I'm really happy with the results and the film itself. And if you want to watch it, as I said, it's already on my channel. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do like and subscribe as it really helps my channel. And yeah, happy filming.